Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. This is going to be just like the old days. Except this time, everything will go according to my plan. <laughs> Happy Turbo Tuesday, guys. I'm Ryan, and welcome to Crash Bandicoot Tips and Tricks. In this short video, I'll show you how to easily beat Dr. Neo Cortex and clear the fourth times a charm level in Crash Bandicoot 4. If you do find this video helpful at all, please make sure to leave a like and share to help other players out. In the first phase of the fight, Cortex will fire a rain of missiles down at you. The best way to avoid these is to keep moving around the arena in a square or rectangular pattern. Make sure not to crisscross yourself too much as you'll become more likely to get hit. After you dodge the missiles for about 15 seconds, he'll send out his punch bot mark 2. Uh, continue to dodge the missiles and jump on top of the punch bot to stop him. Then use your spin attack to deal some damage to Cortex. Mark two is for punching you, not me. In the second phase, Cortex will fire out electric disc, which is similar to the ones in the Doctor Engine boss fight. The easiest way to avoid these is to stay in one column and hop over any discs which are coming at you. Make sure you use the double jump to avoid any double or triple discs. After this, he'll fire out electric tornadoes, which are purple. Just move between the two columns to avoid these, but make sure you are right in the middle of them. He'll then send out another punch bot, which you can jump on and you steal more damage to Cortex. All right, have it your way. The third phase is the trickiest phase. He'll throw electric discs, tornadoes and rockets at you all at once, which is a little bit insane. Um, the easiest way to start this phase is by moving forward slowly in between the two middle columns. Hop over any electric disc coming at you and shuffle in between the tornadoes while keeping moving forward to avoid the rockets coming from behind. When he brings out the punch bot you want to use the whole arena to avoid the barrage of insane attacks he throws at you and again jump on the bot and spin it to steal more damage cortex. In the final phase of the boss fight, start by sticking to the eight panels in the middle of the arena, which will be the only ones left, and move around them one by one to avoid the rockets. Uh, once the outer panels are back, use all the space you have in the arena to avoid all of these insane attacks, and make sure you use the slide kick to dodge under the red tornadoes which come towards you at the end. Hit that final punch bot into Cortex to end the fight and defeat Neo Cortex for the 100th, <coughs> I mean 4th time in Crash Bandicoot history. I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bastard Bandicoots! <laughs> Must we keep going around and around like this? Tell me Crash, is this all there is? Forever? Huh? No. I knew you would be unable to handle this simplest of tasks. Gloat all you want. I quit. If you need me, I'll be on a tropical island somewhere. Alone. How fortunate. You see, I no longer have needs for our alliance. I found a new partner and a new plan. You were scheming behind my back? Of course. The Rift Generator has capabilities beyond your meager imagination. You were content to simply rule over space and time, but I'd rather start from scratch, erase it all, wipe the slate clean. I'm going to reset the timeline and rebuild it to my liking. I will become a god, which means you won't exist, and neither will those feather brains lost or those meddling marsupials. <laughs> wipe from existence by that? Pompous Peacock? I'd like to see him try after I shove that tuning fork up his- But not if we get to him first. It appears we have a common enemy. Perhaps there's a way out of our endless cycle after all. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. Um. <sighs> mm.